What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Kasanat cameraman. Well, Kasanat breaks down crying after evident. Ah, girl, let's get it. Down crying after he found out that his cameraman Chris was engaging in inappropriate conversations with a minor. According to the girl, she was 17. A minor. <clears throat> I wanted to keep it private, but no one reached back to pedo threads. He's curious how I knew his name. He asked for my age. I lied, said 19 because my friends told me to, and I just went with it. He asked for my Insta. I gave it, and as soon as he DM'd me, I told him my real age because I know it's not really cool to lie about, about that. And from there, I thought he was going to stop answering. But then it led to him being down for the, the one verse one on COD. I don't know which I thought was fine later on. It turned out uh, to him being flirtatious and then texting me, wow, shit, you shouldn't say to a minor during this time. I just, uh, yeah, the first time I ran into you guys, then after I skipped my friend, blah, 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 y'all was on Discord. And then when I ran into you again, they wanted me to ask you to make sure it's actually you at the time back in 2021 and at first she lied about being 19 years old but then what did he say i reached out to kai he's trying to get in contact with you but your dms are closed can you follow him to open your dm she was 17 at the time back in 2021 and at first she lied about being 19 years old but i wasn't kidding i actually want to get to know you uh uh, I mean, oh, you cool, but respectfully, I'm 17. My friends told me to say I'm 19, but you know, I gotta let you know the truth. Now, nah, that's crazy. I respect you telling me, though, no cap. And that should have been it. You be blessed. Yeah, I didn't want to do you like that. You cool, though. Good vibes. LOL. I was actually serious, though, if you was 19. LOL. Uh, LMAO, uh, you had me confused though. What you mean? Nigga, why are you still talking to her? Then when they started messaging each other back and forth. Oh my God. Um, you had me confused. What you mean? Uh, I was just laying down and I don't know where I hear Chris, LOL. Like people recognize me all the time, but I don't know why it caught me off guard. Yeah, it's the first time I ran into you guys and then blah, y'all on Discord. Yeah, man, so you blah. I mean, I got this car, I play video games all the time. You see that, you see that different. I was about to say, normally only girls who are into video games know about Discord. Will you be playing? At the moment, I've been playing Call of Duty. You nice. Of course, I'm nice. Stop it just because you said, of course, I know you not nice. 1v1. Uh -huh. well, she revealed her real age, which was 17. Now, at that point, Chris was supposed to end the conversation, but he kept the conversation going. Chris messaged the girl December 15th, 2021. He said, I wasn't kidding. I actually want to get to know you. The girl responded, oh, you're cool, but respectfully, I'm actually 17. My friends told me to say I'm 19, but you know, I got to let you know the truth. Chris responded back. Now that's crazy. I respect you for telling me no cap. The girl said, yeah, I didn't want to do you like that. And then Chris continued to message the 17 year old girl girl first day was talking about video games in discord and then he sent her an inappropriate picture then he was talking about his private part her private oh like i could just imagine rubbing oh no i put my whole oh no just pick your leg up and put it in and just slowly no joke my d hard is that right now just for you what you doing what you what you what you going to do about it? You would let me F you like right now. Um, they probably done with like, bro. First of all, when you grown and you messing with a grown woman, you could have said that to her while she was at work. And when she got off, she could have pulled up to your house, but you was probably talking to this girl wishing she could come to your house because she couldn't because she knows she wasn't of age to be with you. Ugh. Part and things that he wanted to do to her inappropriately. Now, the girl is saying that the reason why she came out is because Kaisenet reacted to Mr. Beats and the Ava situation. And she felt like after that situation, she had to notify Kai right away. But Kai didn't see her DM. So she posted on Twitter and then Drama Alert picked it up and then he reposted it. And then that's when it went viral yesterday. Kaisenet did fire Chris, but Kaisenet was more hurt than anything because this is a person he started out with from the beginning. It's here clear as fucking day in 2021. 
just got caught talking to a minor who was 17 years old. And it's just- Kai had me all messed up last night. Fucking annoying when shit happened. And shit come up fucking name every time, bro. I get connected in situations. Come and relax, bro. I feel bad for him too, cause he ain't do it. You know what I'm saying? But they gonna say Kai's videographer, like. Ugh. Apparently in 2021, this this I know. was caught talking to somebody that's not the age of consent. It gets bad because she lied about her age. She said she was 19. She ended up saying her age, said she was 17, right? At that moment, you're supposed to stop texting. When I seen this shit hit the internet, I was I just woke up, I seen this shit hit the internet, I looked at it, first thing I did was say, hey, let me sit down and let me get down to the bottom of this to completely confirm everything, everything. I reached out to the person who went online and did all the other shit. Um, I reached out to her and shit. And she basically, she, she showed me every single thing. Um, I asked her to confirm the iMessage, to confirm the number. It's confirmed. All right? All that shit is confirmed. And I'm just sick and tired of having to do shit like this. Because it's like, damn. I'm like, somebody who helped me start my whole shit. Brooklyn Frost now has beef with. That's terrible. That's terrible, like. You just, uh, somebody just said more money, more problems. That's definitely a real thing. Um, but you know, a lot of people like they was already this person before they got the money, you know, the money just make it worse. The money just enhances it. There's no reason for me to be talking to her and maybe he don't get a lot of attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, Maybe a lot of girls don't try and mess with him. So he felt like since she's showing him some attention, I really don't know. It's no explanation for her. Like, hell, I would have felt better if the nigga said, I'll wait till you turn 18. Like, she's 17. She would have been legal at 18, but girl. And that's, that's what makes it even worse because she's 17. Either way, he was 24. So it's just, ugh, girl, next. I just can't. With Travis Barker daughter, Alabama Barker, recently Brooklyn was out and about with her friends when she walked past Alabama's ex-boyfriend and he said this. Alabama allegedly unfollowed Brooklyn and comment, she can't even compare to me. She ain't even stunning me. Anyone after me That's is- probably what he was thinking too, cause, cause he was 21. Thank God he wasn't 24. But uh, he was probably thinking that wasn't nothing, but- a downgrade. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. I don't think that's a reason to unfollow somebody. I think it's more to this story, but I will definitely keep y'all up to date. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But let's talk about Queen and Clarence because they celebrated their six year anniversary yesterday and people couldn't wait to make comments. Someone said, where's the ring though? What about the ring? Forget the trip that can be after. Baby, if he don't propose on that trip, leave. If he do propose, it's only because everybody was on the internet talking shit about him not making her a wife yet. If he wants to, he will. Never force someone to do something that they're not ready to do. If not leave and find someone who do those things. Oh my God, the fact that he's doing all of this knowing damn well Queen deserves to be proposed to. I don't know if you guys know, but today is me and Queen's anniversary. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, got We are the same. Yeah. I couldn't open. Sent a cease and desist papers. Real Real. Real. Another thing too, though, uh, for, all, for all my supporters, I want to go in with y'all real quick. Anything involving like the T pages and all that. Another. I, I don't really care to watch that again, y'all. He, you've been summoned to, to be quiet. So here you are. Girl. I don't tell no lies, baby. I don't tell no lies. I don't lie. You waiting for my Uncle Charlie? Yeah. 
Oh, you going with my Uncle Charlie? Yeah. Oh, hey, girl. I'm Lala. I'm his niece. Oh, okay. Okay. This nigga then got a new girlfriend. Uncle Charlie, why ain't you tell me you got a new little mm -hmm. thing? Mm -hmm. I just met your girl. She nice. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> this nigga done broke up with my auntie and got a new bitch. Oh. Well, hell, they broke up. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.